Have you been in the glue aisle of your local craft store lately and been totally overwhelmed by the number of choices that there are? It can be daunting to try to figure out which one is the best for which application, and especially if you're doing a whole bunch of different kinds of Glowforge projects, which one you need. So today I'm going to share with you my top four favorite adhesives for using in my Glowforge projects. And I'll walk you through why I like each one and what I use it for. And if you stick around till the end, I'll give you a few honorable mentions as well. Hi, I'm Katie, and this is Things Katie Makes, where we talk all things Glowforge, especially beginner-friendly projects, to make sure that you can increase your confidence in making and build that business of your dreams. If you haven't yet bought your Glowforge, there's a link in my description to save up to $500 off of yours. So I've tried a lot of different adhesives. I have an entire bucket of things that I use, and some of them I like better than others, some of them I use for very specific applications, and some of them I haven't even gotten around to trying yet. But today I'm going to share with you just my tried and true favorites, the ones that I use over and over again because of how they work in specific situations and my success with them so far in my projects. The first adhesive that I got comfortable with right away when I got started making projects with my Glowforge is E6000. I'm going to read this to you directly from their website, what E6000 is. I was looking up all these adhesives because, well, I use them all and I'm familiar with all of their strengths and weaknesses and how I use them. I didn't know what types of adhesives they were. So let me read this directly to you. E6000 Craft is known for its exceptional strength, flexibility, and toughness. Formulated to meet high performance industrial requirements, it's versatile, flexible, and adheres to most substrates. It will not break down or become brittle with temperature extremes. E6000 bonds everything so you can create anything. And what I really like about E6000 is the way that it applies and the amount of give that you have and play when you're using it. E6000 it comes out in kind of a gel consistency. It's quite thick, um, but it has a lot of play. So if you're using it and you're doing something that's a little bit more freeform and you want time to be able to move things around, it has that play and it doesn't dry right away immediately. So you can move things around, you can change your composition. And what's really cool about E6000 is if you have any parts of it that bleed out underneath your piece, you can just ball those up and remove them. So you make a mistake, you can clean it up. This was really helpful to me when I was first getting started because I was making messes all the time and being able to make those edges nice and clean was a wonderful thing. E6000 does best when you can use a clamp and you can give it some pressure or you can put something heavy on it and it takes 24 hours to cure and it reaches its maximum durability in 72 hours. You'll find that E6000 is popular amongst all types of crafters, not just Glowforge users, and it's one that you should definitely have in your stash. The next adhesive that I absolutely love is Loctite Super Glue Ultra Gel Control. I learned as I was doing my research about this glue specifically was that it's part of a class known as CA because it stands for a word I can barely pronounce. I'm going to attempt it. It's probably going to be wrong. Cyanoacrylate glue. Anyone want to tell me how to pronounce that properly? So any type of super glue that you have falls into this category. If it has the name super glue or crazy glue, whether that's Gorilla, Loctite, any glue that falls into this category is that type of glue. What's cool about super glue is that it actually needs moisture to adhere, which is why you find that it always sticks to your fingers because of the simple amount of moisture that's in your fingertips. What I love about this glue specifically, one, it's this ultra gel, so it has a really, really fine, easy to control application. I use this almost exclusively for earring backs because I can put a small dot right on the earring back and then adhere it to my earring. It doesn't bleed at all. There is no bleed with this glue. It's very simple to use. What I don't like is that it comes in this little tiny package and it's kind of expensive knowing how quickly I go through it. So I really like to use this for anywhere I need a precise application. I need it to adhere quickly. This dries fast. So you don't have a lot of play. You don't have a lot of time to mess around with this one. So I wouldn't use it in something that you're doing a little more artistic. If you know precisely where you're placing something, this is a great glue. and would highly recommend you pick this one up. The next adhesive in my arsenal is pretty intense, but it's really, really critical for certain applications of acrylic. And that is Weld On. 
Well done used specifically with acrylic because it changes the chemical properties of the two pieces of acrylic that you're bonding together. So if you're doing something that has an acrylic joint, this is the perfect adhesive to use. You wanna be very careful when you use this. You want to properly vent. You want to make sure that you're using gloves. You'll put it into a bottle with a needle applicator like this. And you'll apply it from there. You don't need a lot of it. It runs through the two pieces of acrylic and bonds them together almost instantly. It does need some time to cure, but it is a great, great adhesive because it's changing those chemical properties. There's a couple of different types of acrylic cement. This Weld On 3 is a pure liquid. There's also a 16 that is more of a gel consistency, so you could use that, but I found that that doesn't give you as clean of lines, and you can get a little more bubbling when you use that. So Weld On is my favorite so for any sort of acrylic edges, anything where I need to piece two pieces of acrylic together, I can get a bond along an edge. It's really great if you have a piece of clear you're trying to adhere to something and that you can get a smooth connection between the surfaces because you don't get bubbling by connecting those edges. You would get bubbling if you were to put it between two surfaces, but on the edges, you'll see tiny little bits of bubbling where it's changing those chemical properties, but it's not noticeable for the most part. My final favorite adhesive, which you've probably heard a lot about, is not a typical glue, is the 3M tape. I have a huge roll. Mine is 467 MP. You'll probably see 300 LSE more commonly. I'm not sure entirely what the differences are, but both work. I have a link in my description to a smaller sheet of it so you can test it out on Amazon, but also I'm linking to a supplier that has the rolls on a pretty consistent basis because once you find that you like using this, you're gonna wanna get it in a roll. I like using this 3M for anything where there's really fine details that I wanna make sure that I wouldn't have any bleed from a glue, I'll use this adhesive. I almost always have a black and a white piece of acrylic fully backed with 3M so that I can make things as quickly as I need to and I know that it'll get used. You apply this like you're applying masking to your surface and you really wanna make sure that you get all the bubbles out. You'll wanna use a scraper of some sort or a brayer just to really make sure that you get that surface nice and smooth so you get good adhesion. This thing is really strong. In this video, John puts this entirely to the test of all different materials. It's a really cool video, go check it out. All right, if you've made it this far, let me know in the comments which one of these adhesives you already use and which one you wanna try. And now we'll talk about my three honorable mentions. The first is this Beacon 3-in-1 glue. I frequently will find really pretty papers in the craft store that I wanna use as a background, and this glue works really well for that. The next honorable mention is this Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. What I like about this, as opposed to the Loctite Ultra Controlled Gel, is that this doesn't dry quite as quickly, so I can place it on a different surface and get the small pieces that I need to use so that I can put it onto my secondary surface using something like a small paintbrush or a Q-tip, and I cannot get any bleed over, and I also don't have to worry about it drying so fast. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite glues. And the last, you might not think of as something to adhere things with, but I've been using a lot of UV resin. I'll use UV resin as a backup on my earring backs specifically, but I've also been using it as a way to add an extra layer of coating to an acrylic keychain that I may have engraved and painted. And I will just place a thin layer of that. Sometimes I'll add glitter so I can get something slightly more dimensional. But for the earring backs, I'll take a little drop of that and put it around the earring back, which I've already glued on, and then just set that and make sure that I have one extra piece that can really keep that earring back solidly on my acrylic. So those are my top four adhesives for Glowforge projects. I didn't mention anything about a wood glue here. I don't have a favorite. I don't do a lot of wood to wood. So I tend to use E6000 when I'm doing something with wood because I'm not adhering wood to wood. So I'd love to know what's your favorite wood glue in the comments so that I can test it out. If you've enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe so that I can reach more people and I can continue to put out new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. All right. Now you know what adhesives you wanna use, so you wanna go test them out? Go watch this video where I made a puzzle using Glowforge Premium Software Puzzle Tool and using the trace feature. This is a great project that you could use all these different glues for.